little bird in about 30 minutes? I don't know. I don't know how long this bird been sitting here, but I know one thing, I ain't sleeping no more. And she just had a little bit of red wine. Guys, out here on the streets of San Juan, old San Juan. Um, this is such a beautiful area. on this stop or on this flight to San Juan. Um, we will be here for several hours before our next flight. And so um, we're thinking about uh, going out, maybe getting an Uber or something and going to a museum or something. I don't know yet. We're kind of looking around or looking into what we can find to get into for a couple of hours before that next flight. Uh, but right now we are about to grab something to eat from the Shake Shack. Um, and then we'll probably do a little bit of exploring here in the airport before we head out. So, uh, like I said, this is our very first check-in. Um, we've been on the move since probably about 6 o'clock this morning. So, um, when we get to the next stop or as the day progresses, I will check back in with you. Just got some french fries and they, believe it or not, are really, really fresh. And then this is called some kind of smokestack burger and it's got of course a hamburger cheese bacon some kind of red cherry tomatoes on it and husband who's almost finished just got a hot dog and some french fries on his i got some cheese sauce for mine just to kind of give it a little bit of extra flavor things that i wouldn't normally be eating and then i got an orange cream sickle so of course we got this from the shake shack I know that I know that I know that I am in an airport terminal. Why is there a damn bird over here on back this lady's chair? I've been sitting here too long. I thought maybe I was tripping. Somebody pointed this thing out to me, but apparently it's been here flying around for a while, but chose to land. And it's literally just chilling by this woman's head. Yeah, so you like this instead of zooming. <laughs> Go ahead. I got caught up in a paw paw moment. <laughs> Y'all, this bird is literally sitting here not moving. 
Well, you knew I couldn't have been alert. I've been here falling asleep. I wake up, he's pointing at a bird sitting right in here in front of me. I dare you to go over there. But if you get up and move, what you think it'll do if you get up and go? If it come over here, bruh, I'm gone. Like, gone, gone. I didn't even see it when it flew over there. <laughs> what you recording yourself? Recorded your reaction. Oh. <laughs> I've never seen it before, you know. I know I'm, I, you know, I was over here asleep, so. How long has bird been there? About 30 minutes? I don't know. I don't know how long this bird been sitting here, but I know one thing I ain't sleeping no more. I need him to vomitos. Yeah, we have literally been sitting here. One of us was asleep. I ain't gonna say who. All, <laughs> all afternoon. We are tired. We are tired as hell. I'm ready to go. <laughs> but we will be boarding in probably about an hour and a half or so. So we are going to uh, grab something to eat real quick. Um, make any last minute little run around pop shop type things. And then we'll catch up with y'all either once we board or once we land in San Juan. just maybe around 10 30 or so now p.m. so may not get a chance to do the room tour um, just depending on how far it is from here but if not I will uh, show you guys the room in the morning when we wake up we are fresh and ready to take on the town so yeah uh, like I said we have made it here to San Juan Puerto Rico and I will check in later We made it to our room finally. It's really, really weird driving directions, but of course, we did get here at night, so that may have played a part in that. But uh, upon entrance, of course, this is just the door that we came into. It says that this is a full size refrigerator, not so much, but it's definitely bigger than a standard. I got one overhead cabinet here for storage. Looks like there are some bowls or something if you decide you want to heat something, cook something, mix something. A couple of cabinets and some dishware in there as well. Some cutlery. Oh yeah, they definitely provide you a few things if you decide that you want it to stay in and cook. And this is really like, more like a sleep in or a short stay uh, type of space where you could bring your family. It's got a small stove top, dishwasher, sink area. Some cups over there. 
Got a little seating area to eat at. And then of course we have thrown our stuff all over the chair, but there is a sofa and I believe that's a sofa bed, lamp, pretty good size window, little workspace, writing desk, if you will, pretty large TV. And the cool thing about this TV is it spins around. So you could be watching it of course from your sofa or you can spin it around and watch TV from your bed. That's pretty cool. And then this is the king size bed that we have. Also another fairly large window. Don't know what the views are like now. I'll show y'all that tomorrow. Bedside clock, two lamps. Looks like there is USB ports for charging on both sides. This looks like another little storage area get ready area yes i am a mess hello and closet looks like there is a safe in the closet several hangers got an ironing board and iron thank the lord because i'm pretty sure i'll need to be doing some ironing there too and then here is the very nice clean bathroom of course you got hand towels face towels Full body towels at your toilet, standard. Nice cabinetry, the color is nice in here. Then a very nice, sleek shower. So, for the money, the area, the space, you got a pretty good location, pretty good room here. And now we are about to turn in after a very, very long day. So, um, don't know what all we have planned tomorrow. The weather is supposed to be very testy all week. There was a tropical storm in the area um, and they had forecasted a hurricane at one point, but then that got canceled, which is why we ultimately decided to come on. But uh, nonetheless, it's still supposed to be doing some storming here, so. Uh, we will be playing it by ear. I'm hoping to go uh, to the Casa Bacardi um, distillery, which is where they show you how they make the rum, uh, which is what Puerto Rico is supposed to be known for. Uh, and so hopefully we'll be able to get by there and do a tour or wine tasting or something like that. And if I can talk somebody into getting some salsa lessons while we're here, we will do that as well. But time will tell we're gonna play it all by ear of course we'll do a little bit of shopping as best we can just depending on this temperamental weather but yes like i said we will check in on tomorrow all right guys so as you can see um this was the outfit that i wore while i was traveling uh, through the airport it was a long day of travel and so this was the outfit that I chose to wear. It is just one of those two-piece Amazon basics, I believe I showed in one of the other videos that you may or may not have seen. If you have not seen it, I will link it. Uh, but it is an Amazon basic lounge set. Um, and I just threw over this uh, red and white, um, kind of like crew neck sweatshirt. I've had it for a very long time. Uh, got on some of boots and then I've also got on this long line denim blue jean jacket um, I think I also got this from Amazon some time ago and of course I just had my Marc Jacobs tote bag on and so this was the fit for my travel day Take it away, feeling too good to me Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough Too caught up in your love I've been trying to forget 
But you won't let me Something in my brain wants you I've been hanging by myself Alright guys, so we are about to head out um, I did not get my hair straightener I actually left it at home so probably gonna have to run to the store and find one of those and then I've got to get some uh, stuff for my skin um, left my eczema lotion at home as well so we're gonna run to the store and get those things but um, in the process of course we're gonna go and get something to eat but just wanted to jump on and show the outfit that I'm wearing for the day the lighting in here is not very good so hopefully you can see I'm just wearing um, I think this is like a teal colored bodysuit got it from Sheen um, these basic Old Navy khaki shorts and then this brown plain sandal you can see that's like a flesh tone a skin tone colored sandal wedding rings uh, Apple watch of course, I've got my name necklace on. I've just got a hoop earring and a stud in my second hole in my ear. And then, of course, I'm carrying my Kirigami pochette, my little travel companion that I tend to carry whenever uh, we are traveling so that I don't have to carry a large bag. So this is the outfit of the day. And we are headed out. Do we come this way? This frazzled mess. <clears throat> I'm gonna, I think I got a ponytail. Hold, I hope I do. I'm gonna probably end up plaiting this nap patch up. What are you drinking? <laughs> he has vodka and ginger. I think it's called vodka, ginger, and sangria, some kind of mix. We don't know. We just picked up something out of the store here in San Juan. So right now we're currently experimenting. So 
who knows? Y'all don't pay the scarf no mind. I've been running around looking like a chia pet with this wild hair because I left my straightener along with some other important things. So we went in Walmart trying to find some of that stuff and it was a total bust. But we're going to make do with what we have and make the best of it. So, yeah. You going to mix the pineapple in your drink? We've got a couple of plans today, one of which would be going to the uh, Casa Bacardi distillery uh, where we are going to tour and learn how to make a couple of cocktails. So uh, that's on the agenda today. I think I want to go to the Mall of San Juan, but I don't know if we'll be able to go there today or not, just depending on the weather. Um, but um, we do have that on the agenda. That's not until about four o'clock. So just did part of a workout. I'm gonna come back and do some stretching maybe um but we're gonna go and get some breakfast now um and then kind of play things as we go along um because like i said we don't have to get out of here until about four o'clock so we'll see what the rest of the day holds um but if i don't see you again um i will see you guys when i get to the distillery this afternoon all right guys we're getting ready to go out and try to find the beach and it looks like a big storm cloud out here so it's a little bit annoying but we didn't come down here for nothing so we're gonna try it anyway Literally, it's 
not great at that. It's like a light drizzle right now. We can either go and get an umbrella. We can cover our sandwich just in case it decides it wants to start raining real heavy. Um, it feels a little bit out here. The breeze is nice. It's not really too humid. Um, it's nice. Relaxing. We have not relaxed in a good little while. And we did it this time. guys so we are about to go to the uh, rum distillery uh, it's called Casa Casa Bacardi so we're headed to that distillery now um, we've got a four o'clock uh, appointment time or tour time uh, I think it consists of a tour um, I think it goes through the history of the making of the rum or something like that. Um, and then I know that they will show us how to make a couple of cocktails. And so um, that's a part of what we're going to be experiencing while we are there. Um, so husband went to get the car. I'm about to actually go down now myself. Just wanted to show the outfit that I'm wearing. All right, so I've just got on the little short set, a uh, halter style top. Um, hopefully you can see that here. Uh, Kind of got some ribbed material going on here. It's very comfortable and cute. Hopefully, I'm not underdressed or overdressed. I'm not, I know I'm not gonna be overdressed, but hopefully I won't be underdressed. Not 100% sure about the setting there, um, but I believe it's pretty casual. They were talking about, or they sent a text message talking about bringing, um, bringing in like a poncho, raincoats or something like that because of the unpredictable weather. Um, and so, yeah, I should be good. Hopefully I won't get wet because I chose not to put on pants. Um, got these real comfy little brown sandals on. Love these things. I bought these things from Shein. And when I tell you these things are comfortable, very, very comfortable. Uh, again, I've got my little companion, my Kirigami pochette. And I'm uh, just wearing hoop earrings, wedding ring, just the basics. Uh, perfume that I am wearing is the Soleil LeBlanc by Tom Ford. Uh, and again, like I said, I've just got this little tropical setting like two-piece short set on. And this is what I am rocking to the rum tasting. See you there. Going to the elevator. I've got housekeeping up here. Normally don't see housekeeping out in hotel lobbies uh, in the evenings because it's probably like it was almost 3.30 
to that line right there on top of it. How's it like your head? And now my group. One, two, Just pick five, six leads of me and get up. Stand and throw them in your glass. For 20% box to the back of the home, come. And just to make sure that the money is going good, we can do two things. First, and then. In the future, instead of not soda, it can be ginger ale. It can be use some prosecco instead of not soda or anything. To point out, you know what I'm going to do? All you can do. This, oh, what you gotta check is that bottom of the shoe. If you got at the bottom, it's good. Coming back on after this one. So, please enjoy the music. Enjoy the money. I'm going to throw back to the fugies. We're going to add pineapple juice. Here, yeah. one time. The shaker. Third side, which is one ounce. And into the shaker. That's it. That's all the piña that we need for the piña colada. Alright? Then take it in a plastic container and you can place it in the freezer, it doesn't even freeze and it can last for months. Alright? So my crew, that I'm giving you all the 411. 1.5 ounces of alcohol and then you decide I can do a little bit more or mm, I should do a little bit less. Right? That's how you, you start the standard amount and then you go up and down as you please. Right? You press the shaker and you know the strainer. Yes, I'll be sure now. Oh, thanks. Your very own handshake piña colada. Y mi gente de Puerto Rico para el mundo, esta sí que no falla. De Puerto Rico para todo el mundo. headed now to go and do the salsa lesson that we are scheduled for. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Husband, not so much. He's actually been fighting me on this for a while. But he actually agreed to go and get the salsa lesson today. So pretty excited about that. Um, we're actually headed out now. Weather, of course, is terrible. Um, so hopefully we will be indoors. We will see when we get there because I really don't know um, what to expect. But um, we are headed out now. I'm kind of rushing. So I just wanted to kind of let you know where we're headed. And um, I'll see you guys there. Y'all, we are at this beach. I don't know what the name of the beach is. Is it Ila Verde Beach? You don't know? Anyway, the water is literally spilling over this wall as the wind is blowing. And it's bananas to just see that in person, that that water is actually coming up that high. 
and I know that it's a form of something out there. It's, I guess it's just crazy to see because I've never seen it before. Woo! Either way, it's gorgeous, but I'm pretty sure that some of these people are so close to the shoreline. It's not really even a shoreline anymore. I guess it's high tide. The water is actually coming in. So you literally sh probably shouldn't be out there. These people are still out here surfing, swimming. It's got a big old sign up here that says it's not recommended that you swim out here. And yet... Bueno, sí. Camina. Rico, rico, rico. Y como dice mi coro que sigue ahí. Mucha pizza buena, abre la ventana. Mucha. Ahora estamos gozando hasta la mañana.
It's all of you. It's good. this yesterday but it was an epic fail it started raining extremely bad while we were out there so we really didn't get to see a whole lot of it but we are going to head over there um, before going um, to we're actually going to go to the mall today as well um, we're actually leaving out um, this afternoon around five six o'clock this evening and so we're going to try to get a couple things in before we leave out but yeah, we are actually checking out of our uh, hotel now, and then, like I said, we're going to run to Old San Juan, see what video coverage we can capture, and then um, footage we can capture, memories we can make, get some good pictures, hopefully. Um, but yes, run over there to Old San Juan first and see what we can see, run to the mall, and then we will check in. We may check in while we're there, so, yeah. <laughs> night to tonight or from last night to this morning rather it's literally like day and night because it was storming the roads were flooded I mean scary flooded like I had never seen that much water on the road before and people were literally still out here driving but like I said when it was storming and everything real bad outside we decided to turn around and come back to the uh, hotel but um, now it's right now it's real sunny out the wind is blowing, it's a good breeze. It's not cool um, outside, but it's not 
scalding hot or real hot outside right now. So, um, but yeah, hopefully we'll be able to find a good parking space when we get down here to Old San Juan and um, be able to do some sightseeing while we are here. Such a beautiful area, beautiful area to see, beautiful area to view. The experiences I'm sure that you have coming down here is just crazy. I mean, the views are amazing. I'm just in awe of how beautiful the water is, how beautiful some of the monuments and landmarks are out here. It's just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. activity which of course I'm a tourist so 
Um, but yes, I have thoroughly enjoyed myself this afternoon. Um, we are going to head now to uh, the Mall of San Juan. And then from there, we will be heading to the airport. Um, probably get there about two hours early um, for our flight and get ready to head back to Atlanta. So I'll see you guys soon. To the 